Hey guys, it's Diane Hockman from DianeHockman.com and uh, today I want to talk to you about but they told me they'd help me. Gosh, I get a lot of people that I talk to on a regular basis and they're saying that their upline won't help them, their sponsor won't help them, the person that brought them into a program won't help them. And I think on this particular topic there's two sides of the coin so I want to explore both of them. As marketing professionals we have to look at it from both sides. So the first side would be the, um, the enrollee. You're the enrollee, you enroll with somebody based upon the fact that you expect them to help you assist you. Maybe you heard on a conference call that you're going to have a personal coach. Maybe you somewhere along the line that person promised you that they're going to give you step-by-step -step instructions or they're going to help you. So of course you have expectations of what that help might be like. And you're probably even thinking that you're going to get to talk to this person constantly all the time because for most of us we forget that there's anybody else out there. We, we think about ourselves because that's natural and normal. I think about me, you think about you, everybody does. But now let's step back and I want you guys to take yourself and put yourself on the other side of the equation and become the big guy in the industry, the sponsor, the guy who's got the goods, the guy who's got what I call the X factor. This guy knows the deal and you want to learn it from him. This person, guy or gal, is a business person. They're here to make money. You're here to make money, right? So that you're the same as them. This person can only give so much of his time to someone that doesn't earn him income. If he gave his whole day away to the people that are the neediest, he would never make a dime. If he gives his whole day to those that are producing, well then he's going to make a lot of money. So if you put yourself in his shoes and you act like him or the guy that has 10,000 in his downline and everybody's coming at you and if you haven't experienced this yet guys, it's, it's really wild when you have this number of people calling you and needing help and wanting help. That's why these guys and gals put together these group trainings and conference calls and so on and so forth. Now I have another video that you can look at called How to Get an MLM Big Fish to Groom You and it's a lot of the tips that I can give you about how to get somebody to pay attention to you because it's how I got big guys and gals to give me their time and teach me their tricks. But the bottom line is you have to examine yourself. If you are following along, if you're following the directions, if you're out doing and taking the daily actions the chances of your sponsor upline paying more attention to you are huge. If you're somebody that hasn't read the directions, you know, you got your business in a box and you haven't even cracked open the manual, you haven't read the website, you haven't read the frequently asked questions, and you're calling for help all the time, and you haven't done your own you know, due diligence, you haven't taken responsibility, the chances of you getting the attention of a big earner is not very big. And let me ask you, would you yourself give attention to somebody like that. Now some of you guys are going, but I just want to help people and I would help everyone. That's great. But the reality is we're all in this industry to make an income. We all have the dream of working from home. We all want to make a living. We all have children or many of us have children to send to college and we have food to buy and we have cars to maintain. We're all the same. So from today forward, consider looking at everything from a business perspective, not an emotional perspective. Ask yourself, if I were the big guy, would I pay attention to me? Have I done what I need to do to get a business person to want to invest their time in me? If the answer is no, you got to go back at it. Pop open the manual, get on the training, and do what you got to do. If the answer is yes, and you really and truly have done everything you're supposed to do, you really and truly are taking the marketing actions, you really and truly are doing the do, and you're not getting any assistance, you may be with the wrong person and you may be in the wrong program. It's possible, but for 95% of the people that I hear with the complaint, but they told me they'd help me and they won't help me, it's usually the case that they're just not creating income for the sponsor.
so they've been put into the group. Let me give you a last example before we wrap it up. Lots and lots of people go to medical school. Everybody goes to class. Everybody goes through their internship or whatever you call all that. And everybody trains to make a lucrative um, income. Doctors, you know, do pretty well. But a few of the people in medical school shine to such an extent that master surgeons and master physicians take a liking to those people and take them under their wing as their protégés. Those particular students get the experience of the master. They serve the master, maybe they, you know, assist the master, and in the end, those particular students gain knowledge that they can't get anywhere else, and they're able to earn more money than all the other doctors that graduate. Maybe they become a special heart surgeon or a, some type of plastic surgeon, something that is a specialty that not everybody could do, a um, neonatal specialist that specializes in high-risk pregnancies and births, things like that. Those people have done special work and been noticed by special people and groomed up. Well, network marketing is no different. Everybody gets in, everybody gets the class, all your companies have training, all your companies have conference calls. I run conference calls constantly. People come down. But a few people catch my eye. A few people are doing the deal and a few people are earning me income. And those are the people that I'm going to give all my time to because the more time I invest in them, the more income they will earn for me. So I exchange my knowledge, my expertise for their efforts. And in the end, they walk away with my whole knowledge base. So it's kind of cool. So you got to look at it like that. you got to make believe that you're the guy or the gal that is the big fish. And look at it as to who are the type of people that you want to train. Doers or whiners. And then make sure that you're the type of person that you'd want to train. And that's the answer. That's how to get what you want. That's how to get the attention of the big guy. And most of all, that's how to shift your thinking. Because nobody's entitled to anything. This is capitalism. This is free enterprise. And nobody promised you hand-holding. They promised you coaching and training. And for most of you, it's right there in front of your nose. you got to go get it. I went to monthly training, sometimes two of them a month for six years. I drove in my car two and a half hours each way. I got up at four o'clock in the morning to learn what I learned. What have you done? I served my mentors. I carried their lunch bucket. I did their dirty work. I did their junk. I helped them with emails and stuff to get near them and to learn from them. Have you done something like that? So next time before you say, they told me they'd help me and they've I want to say a word. All right, I'll say it. It's my video. They screwed me. The next time you go to think that, really just examine. Is it possible that that happened to you? Yeah, I see it all the time. But is it possible that you didn't step up to the plate and start swinging? I don't care if you hit the ball, but were you swinging? If the answer is no, it's time to start over. Okay, guys, this has been Diane Hockman with DianeHockman.com. If you like these videos, there's a whole bunch more over at MLMXFactor.com. We'll see you next time.